beautiful Dead Sea friends. I'm going to show you my amazing view. This is the view from our villa at the Kempinski Hotel at the Dead Sea. We are staying in the Ishtar portion of the hotel which is kind of like the the VIP section so we're super grateful. Thank you so much for having us and can't wait to show you guys more of this hotel. We checked in yesterday afternoon after coming back from Petra so We've arrived here at the perfect time. It's definitely the right itinerary I would suggest for your trip to Jordan would be to do Petra and Little Petra and the excursioning before coming to the Dead Sea because I can tell you after hiking, walking, climbing 24K, we definitely are in need of some rest and relaxation. Yesterday evening, we floated in the Dead Sea for the first time and had an amazing dinner. So today I'm just getting ready to head out to the pool. Something that's super nice about when you are staying at the Dead Sea is that you need to wear only little or no sunscreen at all. So me being as pale as I am, I always have to look out for the skin. I also have an allergy to UV rays, like UV light. I tend to get heat rash quite easily. But um, yesterday I didn't wear any sunscreen at all. And as you can see, maybe I'm bronzing up a little bit, but no redness. So today I put on just one layer of sunscreen and I'm gonna go, go lay out for the day. So I suppose I am the guinea pig for this protection that the Dead Sea has. Because all the minerals in the water itself, it has created kind of like a UV protection. So that's why they said you don't have to wear it. So we'll see how it goes. I'm super excited to get some color. <laughs> and just relax for the day. You guys, I'm so excited, it's so hot out and they have ice cream, like a little ice cream bar over there and they have this sorbetto that's lemon and mint and you guys know like that's all I've been drinking this holiday so I'm super excited it's so refreshing because it's already over 30 degrees it's super hot <laughs> Alright guys, so we are down at the sea now and we're going to do the mud treatment where you put like the dead sea mud all over your body and then you go in to wash it off and it's supposed to be amazing for your skin. And this afternoon in the evening we have each a full body massage and an amazing facial planned. So I think this just sets the tone for a very relaxing rest of the day. So first we go into the sea for five minutes. We float for five minutes and then we go put the mud on and then we wash ourselves off at this shower over here. I'm only gonna take the camera in for a moment just because I wanna show you guys what it's like to like float in here um, because it's super cool. Like I said, we floated last night for a little bit just to, to see and it was amazing. I think one of my concerns was like, oh, if we're floating, is it not comfortable because you have to keep your neck up, you have to like stiffen your body, nothing like that. Honestly, the water just floats you. Like <laughs> It just carries you. It's absolutely amazing. Have any of you ever floated in the Dead Sea? If you have, let me know down below. This has been on my bucket list forever. <laughs> so I'm so excited to share, share this with you. <laughs> so I'm just dipping in now and look, I'm floating, I'm floating. Amazing, really, and like I mentioned before, you don't have to worry about sunscreen. A little sunscreen for the most part, I suppose. Don't listen to me uh, saying no sunscreen because sunscreen is so important, but just today, it's probably going to reach about 40 degrees, which, I mean, if you were anywhere else in the world, that's like a major danger zone for your skin, right? But not so much here. Oh, I want to tell you too, so swimming in the Dead Sea is not allowed. Like, you're not allowed to swim out far, and you won't be able to see, but probably but there are little boys over there advising people not to swim over at the next uh, resort out very far because the further you go out into the sea the thicker the water gets and many people get caught in the thickness of the water and actually end up drowning obviously you can't sink 
but the water gets thick enough and it causes people to panic and when they panic they splash water onto their face they splash water all around obviously and swallow it uh, dehydrate themselves and then unfortunately die because by the time anyone can find them so if you do come to the Dead Sea it's not a place where you can go out in the morning and swim around and get your exercise that way so I'm gonna continue floating here for a few more minutes and then I'll go put on the mud okay guys so I actually put my face underneath the water because I saw that some people who already had mud on had the mud on their face so I assumed that I probably had to get my face wet I do not advise this even if you're supposed to because it is actually so incredibly salty that the second I put my face under the water with my eyes were closed my nose was like plugged and my mouth was closed obviously but I just immediately felt the salt in my eyes and my nose and in my mouth so thankfully Anastasia guided me up here and the man like put, <laughs> put warm water like into my face and like I opened my eyes and poured fresh water into my eyes but now we're going to go and yes thank you i'm telling them i'm telling them that you basically saved my life my friend you want to see her view okay what's your name samir samir that's i'm helping for the bottom uh, fresh water and the yes ice. he saved me <laughs> saved me because i <laughs> dipped my head in the water <laughs> sit down here sit down here. okay so i'm sitting down and okay for the mud so where is this mud from? From uh, behind the area. Behind the area. All right, looks pretty dark. Yeah. Okay. It's go time. Ah! And so, what are the benefits? Uh, for the skin, after finish, you feeling your skin too much uh, beautiful, too much soft. Too much beautiful, too, too much, much soft. Uh, I like it. I like it. <laughs> from where? Sorry. I'm from Canada, oh, but Canada. I'm living in Italy, in Rome. Uh, so cold there. Yes. The Canada, yeah. yeah, I much prefer this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on vacation every single day because I love my occupation. Hey, 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 I'm on vacation. If you don't like your life, then you should go and change it. Hey, hey. I'm on vacation every single day Cause I love my occupation Hey, hey, hey I'm on vacation every single day Okay guys, so now I have to wait about 10-15 minutes First impressions, so when you are floating in the sea your skin stings a little bit like for example I shaved my legs this morning so like little bits of my legs were stinging and I have like a small cut on my elbow was stinging a little bit but nothing nothing intense right like it's just this the sea salt in the wounds so this was scrubbed on pretty pretty rough like there is like little granules in it so skin stinging a little bit but it feels it feels good you know it feels good doesn't feel too uncomfortable Okay guys, so all fresh and clean, just drying myself off. So they had said that for anyone who has any kind of skin issues, like eczema for example, this is an amazing treatment for it and people become cured afterwards. So that's pretty cool. I um, I don't think, I mean, knock on everything, at this time I don't have any skin issues, but they said for anyone coming to the Dead Sea to just experience this mud treatment, you're supposed to do it twice in one day. So. As I mentioned, like we have our massages, so I don't think we'll be able to do it twice. But already my skin feels so soft, and I don't know, it's just like a full body mask, right? Like it just makes everything feel so good. So this was just an amazing experience, and our treatment at the spa is in an hour and a half, and we wanted to go a little bit earlier so we can take some photos and enjoy the pools. They have special pools in the spa that are actually with water from the Dead Sea, so it will be nice to float around in those. Shukran. Welcome. Every day I come. Okay. <laughs> we'll be back. Bye. Bye. Spa time. Yes, it's spa time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're the best. What's your name? What's your name? Mashhur. You must be your favorite. Ah, yes, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Shokran.
Shukran. Yeah, you made our day. You made our day. Thank you. Thank you. Okay guys, so we're all done our treatments. They were absolutely amazing. We both got the Renaissance massage, which was 75 minutes. To be quite honest, it, it kind of hurt after Petra, but it hurt and then it felt good, you know? And then I got the brightening facial. So it was 75 minutes as well and it was, it was so nice. Like there was a warming mask that was put on. There was like a cooling mask. Everything smelled so beautiful. Like it was definitely an aromatherapy session as well. And now we're just hanging out in the garden by the infinity pool here and we're going to enjoy the sunset. Beautiful Zoe, like a song. <laughs> 